Menu narration option is set to off.
From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game, but it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott. Pass caught, it's Roby. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around with a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. He'll get this to Eckler. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, a 22. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going, and they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. A terrible spot for a holding call as they'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On second down, Eckler. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, they get a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Prescott on third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring a fourth down here. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And this one is right through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. And now we won't see a play on first down.
Timeout instead. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The Chiefs are 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. Mahomes now to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And Patrick Mahomes, for all of his artistry and arm angles and what he can do in the short passing game, never forget he's got a cannon as well. He unleashes a big one there, but that time it winds up incomplete. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. 43, 43. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down the half before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You look at this Cowboy defense, and they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. They'd easily move into the top five. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Yellow, yellow. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second and four. Running left to give to Pacheco. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Pacheco once again. And he will have the first down at about the 21 yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. DeMarvian overshown, the one to bring him down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's a second and five. A give right side for Pacheco. And he'll take this one down near the 15. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. Pacheco. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week and hits pay dirt for a third time here. And with good health, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders and touchdown scorer when this season comes to an end. 
brush your partner. Is it bad luck to toast him with a sports drink? Not at all, partner. I think that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail but they've got a first and 10 here. Looking to throw. Prescott. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Prescott yet again. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Prescott. That's complete to Dobbs. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and trying to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Prescott now. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. Romeo Dobbs, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Aubrey Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10-7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Flushed out right. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Oh, 
They run it with Pacheco from the gun. They had nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. It's Rice. Oh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play. And the clock will run no timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. Pushing his way through. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have hey, that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. On play action, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And past the 30 before he's out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision of Goodwin picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw. And in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. There goes a deep ball in zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Mahomes again here on second and ten. He's going to try and go deep again. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 57 yards. And the Chiefs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for. That big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch. Take it to the house. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Go, 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Prescott now on second down. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. Prescott to throw it. And the Chiefs are going to get him. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. To throw is Prescott. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice game. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. You enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Prescott fires one out wide complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Prescott from the gun. Touchdown! Romeo Dobbs. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here this third quarter. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Go, go, 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Here's Pacheco headed right. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's good for our Kansas City Chiefs. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down and six now. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. A run by Pacheco on second down. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. And Mahomes sees something. He'll change the play. Brings up third and two. Looking to throw on third and two. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Play clock down to five, and they're going to burn a timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. I 
The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Pacheco. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Easy, easy, easy. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Well, they'll come up second and seven. Pacheco, and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 30. 112 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through him. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47-yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance of the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. This is first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here comes second down. Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. They'll come up now. Second and nine. To throw Prescott. 
He's got Eckler. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. Here's Prescott. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete with that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face this entire game is down to the next snap too far for a field goal they've got to go it's fourth down desperation time Prescott on four and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over they had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And they try with Pacheco. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Mahomes going to throw it here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Pacheco. They juked him. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's first and ten. Here's Dak. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Prescott. That's complete to Lamb. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew 